By one disobedient man, many are made sinners. By one obedient man, many are made righteous. What am I saying? Don't let your children suffer from the sins that you've committed. You are suffering from the sins your father committed. They are suffering from the sins their father committed. So when are we going to break this curse? How do we break this curse? We have to get knowledge, and inform which is information of self. The more knowledge you have, the more knowledge your kids will have. The less knowledge you have, the less knowledge your kids will have. We need to seek information. Seeking information is helpful. Don't ignore the fact. Don't become ignorant. Because an alcoholic once married a woman. He mentally, verbally, and physically abused her without knowing that his child was watching. So what did he become a product of? What did he learn? He learned that that may be the way of life. That is what he's supposed to do to gain that woman's attention. Yes, man, I'm getting on you today. Be mindful of what you're teaching your kids. Be mindful of what they're taking in subconsciously because the information, they're always receiving information. You don't have to say it. No, you don't have to say they watch your actions, emotions, reactions. You also should know that every action has a reaction, every cause has an effect. So be mindful of the babies that's watching you. We have to break this generational curse. How do we break this generational curse? Get knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. See, the word was given to man first. Then the one man followed. The word was given to the man first and the woman followed. But how can she follow anybody? Or how can she follow her man if he has no goal? He's not going anywhere. She can't be his helpmate. Man, we got to get ourselves together. We got to become the leaders again. So we can have this great generation with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding.